Everyone, and today we're going to do an experiment to observe the fusion of potassium permanganate crystals in water. Let's take a closer look at the potassium permanganate crystals. To some students, it appears black, to some brown black, and very rarely, I'll have a student who will see dark green slash brown. To me, it just appears black. These crystals are perfect for use in a diffusion experiment because they are brightly colored once added to water. Let's observe what will happen now. Look keenly. When added to the water, the potassium permanganate crystals, they dissolve. Where most of them fell in the bottom of the beaker, and that is referred to as an area of high concentration, to the top of the beaker and the areas that you cannot see the crystals or the color of the crystals in the water, that would be referred to as an area of low concentration. To observe the fusion process properly, this experiment is carried out over a series of hours so we'll take a break right now and then come back and see what happens after 30 minutes. This is what the experiment looks like after 30 minutes. So I want you to take note of the streaking that you're seeing in the solution. And of course, down the bottom, it's darker there than at the top. So observe the streaks that you're seeing in the solution. So we'll let it rest and then we'll check on it after one hour and then two hours. Thirty minutes has passed by, so it has been about one hour since we've started the experiment. And if you look at it, it doesn't necessarily look much different from it did thirty minutes ago. So we're going to check on it another hour. But I could see some streaks in it. I, I doubt that the camera could actually pick it up. But the streaks are no longer there in the solution. So what you do see now is an area of high concentration of potassium permanganate down the bottom. And at the top, of course, you have an area of low concentration. So it will continue doing this process until it's evenly distributed. It has been about two hours now since we've started this experiment, so I want you to look at the change with the beaker. As you can see, it has gotten much darker at the top. So you do have a lot of the potassium permanganate particles down the bottom, but it's spreading. And at the top, it is much darker than when we started. So I'll be here a few more hours so I can just check in every hour and then let you see what it's like. It has been about five hours now since we started the experiment. So let's look at what the beaker looks like now. It's far darker than before, but you can still see that the potassium permanganate particles are still concentrated towards the bottom of the beaker. So for it to be uniformly distributed, which is really what diffusion is, the movement of particles from areas of high concentration to low concentration until evenly distributed, it will take quite a while to do so because diffusion is a passive process. That means it does not it require the input of energy. That energy can be heat energy, light energy, any type of energy. So this process does not require that type of energy for it to happen. So remember the whole point of doing the experiment is to show that matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. And we did that by looking at these solid particles. I remember some students will see brown, some will see black, some will see a dark brown slash green color so these crystals that you're seeing now what happens is that they are broken up once you put them in aqueous solution so we actually kept track of the crystals really breaking up into particles because they were colored so we could see the color of it all all right so that's it for now you've been learning science this is c williams Massey. bye